Today, I'd like to do a little review of the Browning BLR lever action rifle. Um, start off with a brief history and then uh, let me get into some specifications of the BLR. BLR uh, was Browning's entry into the lever action market. Uh, they began producing them at the FN plant in Belgium in 1969. Browning uh, soon moved that production to Japan in 1973 and has been producing them there ever since. Uh, throughout its production it's remained pretty much the same. Uh, the only real changes noteworthy to the rifle are in 95 they changed over from a all steel receiver to an aluminum receiver and that's basically it uh, they did upgrade the the detachable box magazine um, it used to be kind of an extended version and now it uh, it's it's pretty much flush with the bottom of the rifle so kind of nice uh, why purchase a BLR and what what uh, what features makes the BLR you know stand out from you know other more traditional lever actions well I guess first and foremost you can see it does have a detachable box magazine instead of uh, the traditional tubular magazine uh, so you can shoot pointed bullets with it. Some of you may argue, well, Hornady makes the lever revolution bullets now, so that's not a big thing. But, you know, it is, you know, and was kind of cool that you could shoot pointed bullets. Another thing is Browning came up with a system for its bolt and its bolt lockup that allowed it to be chambered in some really high potent calibers and I'm going to show you that right now alright so what it is is when you work this bolt I'm going to zoom in on it it's got a rotating bolt head and this bolt as it closes you'll see it, it's going to rotate. See it rotate right there? It rotates and there's locking lugs that lock either into the into the um, the receiver on the later or on the earlier BLRs and then on some of the the newer BLRs there's like a barrel extension and that bolt locks and pivots right into those locking lugs in the barrel extension just like an AR-15 so it makes this bolt action extremely strong I mean this lever action extremely strong I was gonna say it makes this lever action as strong as a bolt action and it is um, what else it has a really smooth lever I mean it is silky smooth and that is in due to the fact that it's a rack and pinion type system you can see the rack right there on the bolt and then there's a little gear right here that moves when you move the lever and it just moves back and forth on that rack and pinion and then the bolt just twists home and there it is. There you have it. And so this action is, like I said, it's is extremely strong for a lever. It will allow this rifle to be chambered in, you know, some super, super potent calibers all the way up to the 300 wind mag. And it is as accurate as a bolt action. Believe it or not it will shoot one MOA groups without much of a problem what else can I say um, 
let's take a look at take a look at the stock. Some people might like it, some people might not. It's a very dark stained walnut stock. Hand cut checkering on this model, kind of cool. Same goes for the fore end. With a nice little barrel band there. Um, you also notice that it's got that high gloss finish to it. Um, some people like it, some people don't. Um, that high gloss finish was uh, made famous by DuPont and DuPont uh, used it heavily on the the Remington rifles and shotguns throughout the, the 80s and the 90s. Um, you know, what can you say? It's durable. Um, it's rather impervious to weather and impervious to oil so you can say that for it like it or not fit and finish of the rifle outstanding it is real real nice uh, if I can get it to focus for you and of course it's not going to focus but it is outstanding um, the bluing on the rifle really deep rich bluing um, this particular rifle is over 20 years old and it still looks like brand new. Just a testament to Browning craftsmanship and attention to detail. Just awesome. Uh, you notice that uh, you got a gold plated trigger. Kind of a nice little touch. And also you got your little Browning logo. Gold plated. Another nice little touch. Um, this rifle does have an exposed hammer. So, and no external safeties to talk about. It does have a, a half cock, and then you can rotate the top of the hammer inward. And so that hammer, when it's rotated like that, it is not sitting on the firing pin. So, just an extra safety thing. Kind of nice. Okay, specifications. Uh, we'll start with the barrel. 20 to 24 inch barrel, depending on um, caliber. Short actions, 20. Longer actions, 22 to 24. The barrel is a thin walled barrel, lightweight barrel. So, good thing, saves weight, bad thing. This is not a range gun. Um, you're not going to be able to go out and shoot 50 to 100 rounds in rapid succession. You can do it, but you know after 10-15 shots in rapid succession, your shots will start to wander. The barrel will heat up on you. So just, but it's, this rifle was designed as a a hunting rifle, so that's really not not a big issue. It's not a range rifle. Overall length, um, 40 to 44 inches, depending on, you know, if you got a long or a short action. The short action rifles weigh six and a half pounds. The long action rifles, just a tad over seven and a half pounds. So they're not super lightweight, but they're far from heavy. The rifle is really nicely balanced, um, comes up to the shoulder nice, points really nice. Uh, it's just a, it's a really nice handling, nice handling rifle. What else can we say? Uh, the rifle, like I said, for a lever action rifle, you're not going to find one that has a stronger action you're not going to find a lever action that shoots belted magnum cartridges or the array of you know cartridges it does shoot you won't find it you won't find a, a lever action that shoots more accurately either I mean this lever shoots like a bolt gun uh, the sights on this thing Adequate, nothing crazy extravagant. 
you're going to probably want to put an optic um, just to take advantage of the the accuracy and the long range potential of the rifle you definitely want an optic um, the rifle does come tapped and drilled for scope mounts um, price this lever action you're not going to be able to go pick up for 500 bucks uh, you are going to pay for this rifle you expect to, to pay between 800 and a thousand depending on you know what you get but uh, you know 800 to a thousand bucks you're gonna get everything you pay for the quality craftsmanship and attention to detail fit and finish strength durability this rifle pretty much has it all so I would say if, if you're in the market to purchase a lever action rifle, you need to, to give the BLR a look. I mean, it is a little bit of a departure from, you know, the more traditional lever actions, but, you know, it still holds true to uh, the quick handling, quick follow-up shots that levers are known for. And the versatility of this rifle, I mean... The calibers it comes in, it just leads this rifle to be one of the most versatile rifles. I mean, for a lever action to say, yeah, um, you chamber this in a 308, 270, or 30 odd six, you can take this lever action and hunt pretty much every species of game in North America. You might want to shy off from the bears, but pretty much every species of game you can go out and hunt with one rifle. You get this rifle chambered in a 308, you can pretty much do everything with it. Same with 30 odd 6. You can pretty much hunt anything you want. So kind of cool. Make sure uh, you check out uh, the BLR. You know maybe you can borrow one, take one, shoot it. Uh, you'll you'll love it. I love it. And it's definitely worth worth a look. Thanks for watching and have a great day.